Mole Man digs tunnels under his home for years without anyone noticing. Among London's historic war bunkers and winding subway systems, there are hidden passageways even more profound. A series of tunnels lie underground with no discernible purpose, all of which were made by William Little, the legendary Mole Man. For years, rumors spread between neighbors as to Little's secret plan. If it weren't for the damage that spread above the Mole Man's digging, he would have carried his secret to the grave. Normal Views The house on Mortimer Road in Hackney, London, looks quite ordinary. Over the years, it turned into a ramshackle structure, but it was what was underneath that truly distressed the community. Citizen Sponsored Man-made tunnels sprawled out in many directions though not a part of any city project. It was all because the homeowner wanted something exciting to keep his mind on. Home Improvements Sure, William Little bought the house in the 1960s. He knew there was something missing. There was plenty of space with 20 different rooms. He figured a wine cellar was what he needed. New Skill During his remodeling, the wine cellar changed into a basement and then became even more ambitious. Little had found a passion for digging. As a retired engineer, he had plenty of time for his new project. Quieter World Daylight was replaced with the musty, cold subterranean realm beneath, and Little preferred it. The rooms in his home turned into storage places to hold the dirt and clay he excavated. Man Cave After 40 years of digging, Little created a system of tunnels that went 20 feet deep and spread out in directions as far as 60 feet. It was his own little secret, as if he was living a childhood dream. Perfect Solitude Little would make alcoves in the walls of his tunnels. Once finished, he would place books within for later reading. Tarzan stories were among his favorite in the collection. Years Long Journey Above ground, neighbors ranged from being curious to outward frustrated. Little was closer to a hermit than a social butterfly, and if the rumors they passed around were true, what stopped the Mole Man from digging into their homes? Tensions In an interview with The Guardian, one neighbor tried to see the amusing side. I often used to joke that I expect to see him coming up through the kitchen floor. But was this a joking matter? Little help Another neighbor remained more serious. We moved in six years ago, and we've been complaining to the council ever since. Until six weeks ago, they had the audacity to tell us the house was structurally sound. Mole Man Quarrels Prior to the neighbor's interviews, Little had accidentally hit a 450-volt cable. As much fun as he was having with his passion, it seemed he hardly gave much thought to those around him. Past Problems when pavement in front of Little's home collapsed, his private project had become exposed. Neighbors could see the tunnels stretching out all over and many were baffled at the extensiveness of it all. Them versus him. None of them could think of a reason for the tunnel making. It confounded them even more that Little never saw any reason to offer an explanation. His property was his property. More than once, Little was ultimately evicted though after a few years he managed to return to his home. Then, in 2009, he was evicted a final time and the city placed him in the residence of a high-rise. For someone who loved digging, it seemed to be a prison sentence. Not Forgotten After Little died in 2010, the city finally filled in most of his damaging tunnels with cement. Yet the quiet that Little's passing had left behind wouldn't remain. He had left a legacy behind. Current Days the house on Mortimer Road became a unique tourist attraction. It caught the eye of a pair of contemporary artists. They quickly purchased Little's rundown house when it went on the market. Two for one, Sue Webster and Tim Noble cleaned up the property. All 20 rooms of the house would be restored, but the two also bought it, fully knowing who the previous owner had been. Future Plans The artists planned to preserve several of the tunnels that had not been filled in by the city. There were plans for a studio to be made in some of them, or even turning some into a sunken garden. A plaque was soon secured to the house. Tributes It offered a lasting acknowledgement of the Mole Man, without a hint of irony. No one will ever really know why he began his half-century-long project. Perhaps to little, that was the point. Parting words 
I don't mind the title of inventor, he said in an interview with The Guardian. Inventing things that don't work is a brilliant thing, you know. People are asking you what the big secret is, and you know what? There isn't one. And Little isn't even the only one who was lured into an underground life. In fact, there are many communities around the world that live below ground.